wanted to hop on here just really fast before we jump into the vlog. So one of the main questions that we get asked quite a bit is, how is your language learning coming? Do you know Chinese? Are you learning Chinese? We've all been trying in our own ways. For me, it's been really hard, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it is not an easy language for me to just intuitively know. So, to help me with some conversation and also learn a little Shanghainese, because I think that would be really cool to kind of feel a little more connected to the local environment, I turned to the online language learning platform italki, which is also today's sponsor. What's unique about italki is that you can take personalized one-on-one -on -one lessons with native speakers anytime, anywhere. These one-on-one -on -one classes help improve speaking and listening skills, as well as increasing your confidence through live interactions. With over 30,000 teachers to choose from, it can be a little overwhelming, but italki has made it easy to find the right teacher for you. Search by lesson, category, or even where the teacher is from. The location search was really helpful to me because I already live in China and I needed somebody on my time zone. The best thing about italki, in my opinion, is that you can pay for each class individually. You don't have to sign up for like a monthly subscription. So there's no commitments and lessons start at five US dollars. I took my lesson with Liza. She's a certified Chinese teacher. She has a bachelor's degree in English translation with over 600 hours of teaching experience. She has a master's degree in film and TV production, which I thought was perfect for me. And she was so patient and friendly. What is one part? What means to to ask? To ask. Okay. Okay. What? What? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So start your language learning journey now with the link in the description box below, and don't forget to use the promo code Melissa Five to get your $5 credit. The code is good for the first 50 users who purchase $10 or more. Thank you so much, Italki, for sponsoring this video. Sixteen minutes. Sixteen minutes. That's the one at ten hours. That's the one. That's just been place we're going to is closed. So we are now heading into Haiti over to another uh, of the same place. What's it called again? Home Slice. Home Slice. I always want to call it Hideaway Pizza. That's a place back in Oklahoma. But it's Home Slice. We're going over to an, another location. Hopefully it's open. And um, right now I'm going to ask Colin a question. To be honest, all the food that you could probably find in the United States you can find here. Um, but Probably like Mexican food because here there's not a whole lot of options for like Mexican food. Like Tex Mex? Yeah, like Tex Mex basically. Just bring Chipotle over to uh, China. China. China, yeah. <laughs> You'd be a happy camper. Yeah. Chipotle and uh, Pei Wei. But Pei Wei's like American, American Chinese, Chinese yeah. food. <laughs> uh, True. <laughs> those are like the two restaurants that I miss from back. Uh, in the United States, but when it comes to like burgers and pizza and everything else, you can find that here super easy. There's so much. I love Chinese food, especially like the street food here. I just love it so much. Like baozi, which are these like buns that are filled with all kinds of things. Um, you can get savory, sweet, spicy, whatever, you name it, you can have a baozi with that in it. Um, and then also bing. Well, which are kind of it's just like a fried bread 
pit inside has different fillings as well. I really like all the noodle places here. Uh, there's really, it's just like, it's really easy to get noodles that, or noodle dishes that don't have meat or egg, at least what we've found. I don't know, I really like Chinese food here. It's really nice. Um, it's very cheap as well, so I can get like four bouts, of, which is like a full meal for only six pi, which is less than a dollar US. So that's nice. Um, great. This guy, oh my gosh, I can barely record you. <laughs> okay, go ahead, sorry. Um, also, I just love boba so much, and boba places are everywhere here. Dian Dian or? Yi Dian Dian. I love Yi Dian Dian. It's my favorite boba tea place yet, just because I really like their flavors that they have, especially their strawberry drinks. I love them. Um, but yeah, there's just a lot of boba tea places in Shanghai, and you really just like so many flavors that you can try, and it's really fun to find a new place. And again, it's very affordable. And they use coconut milk a lot too. Yeah, they so. use coconut milk quite a lot. The other day, I had one um, that was coconut milk and strawberry, and it tasted exactly like a pink drink from Starbucks. And it was bigger and a quarter of the price of a Starbucks pink drink. Yeah. So it's just so nice. <laughs> so. good for me. Um, I, since I'm in 10th grade, I have a lot of, like, my workload has been increased quite a bit, and I really haven't had time to really focus on Chinese and study, and my listening and conversational Chinese is really bad, um, but I'm working on improving it, and yeah. You're better than me. <laughs> <laughs> you know quite a bit, actually, I think. I like, my reading ability is better than my speaking. I can read Chinese, like all the words I've learned in class, I can read them um, when I see them like around, but speaking, no, I'm so bad at speaking. I'm like, I don't remember how to pronounce anything or... Do you think it's really hard? Um, no, I mean, if I really focused on it and like really pay attention, um, I would it would be so much like I would learn so much more and faster. I mean, I'm only like taking classes that I have in school, which is like I only have four classes a week, and I'm still like I'm learning quite a bit. And yeah, it's not you're a busy girl. Yeah, so <laughs> sophomore year is is busy, especially in MYP, oh my gosh. Yeah, so that was another question. You're in the IV program, yeah. right? Yeah. Which is my last year of MYP, and I'll be going into DP or CP. Um, yeah. Okay, 
So one last question. It's a few days later, by the way. <laughs> uh, my hair is pink now. Um, Holland. Yes. Do you feel like you're somebody behind us? Hold on. <laughs> so the last question for you is, do you, as a teenage girl, do mm -hmm. you feel safe here? Absolutely. China, there's cameras everywhere. Um, Which can be viewed as a bad, bad thing, thing as well, but, but for safety reasons, it's it is really nice. so safe here. You still want to be like like aware, but like you can, it can just relax so much more. And mm -hmm. I hang out, go and out and hang out with my friends all the time, and we don't worry about the stuff that I would worry about. And as a craft. parent, I have to say, it is I have a lot more peace knowing that. She is safe and that, mm -hmm. you know, nowhere's perfect. There are, yeah. I mean, she still needs to be aware and vigilant, yeah. but it is, it is a much different feeling than, mm -hmm. um, right. even in Oklahoma where we were. So, yeah. uh, which is a very safe state. So, um, yeah, it's very, I feel so, it's it so nice. Here. Yeah, it is nice. It's like, I'd say that's probably the one thing, yeah. your, your most favorite thing about here, wouldn't you yeah. say? It's you talk about best. that a lot is that I just, it's, I feel so comfortable here. Like yeah. walking by myself and walking around. There's a mosquito. It's about to die, it's cold. It got now. really cold here today, which is so nice. So we're gonna go over to the store mm -hmm. and get stuff to make soup.